Hey guys, it's Lisa and it's that time again. It's the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I know I told you I was not going to bombard you with things, but I had so many people asking me for my recommendations. So I'm not going to go through my wish list. Matter of fact, you know, I'm going to Palm Beach next week to go shopping. And John was nice enough to email the manager of the store there. And they have messaged me back several times and wanted to go ahead and get my list, my wish list, and have everything pulled for me. And I kept, I actually had it like on my to-do list because I've been so busy. And I started doing it. I was like, this is not fun. This is not, I like to shop. I want to go there and shop. So that's what I'm going to do. But I did go through, I spent probably two hours yesterday and an hour this morning going through the sale to give you my recommendations, the things that I think are worth it and things that not only do you save money on that I use constantly, but unique things that you won't be able to get again. So I have them in no particular order. I have them all saved and we are going to go through them quickly because there's more than I thought. Okay, and I will try to have them numbered down below. And let's see, let's get started. I went through, it was a little overwhelming to me just to like literally go through the whole thing. So I did it based on categories and brands that I already know and love. And I was surprised to see a lot of the things that I show you guys all the time that is on there. Okay, first of all, sneakers. Now is a great time to get some good sneakers. I have on here the white New Balance. One of my subscribers was saying she couldn't find a pair of tennis shoes that she loved. She's in her 70s, and I was telling her I would ask my mom. Well, my mom loves this style of New Balance. The next ones I saw in the magazine, and that is the shiny Palladium Fendi sunglasses last year i got the fendi sunglasses that i love i wear them all the time and you could not get them again they don't sell them anywhere else you can get some similar but some of my all-time favorite sunglasses then in the jewelry i saw a ring a gold ring that's very similar to this one and like i said i don't know oh it's monica vinegar then the orbe gold lust shampoo conditioner and mask set this is something that I know that I love. I used it last night. Not only does it come with the conditioner, but the mask. These wedges from Vince. Vince is a great quality shoe. They're going to be similar to like a rag and bone, fry, you know, just those good, hearty, nice shoes. And I think this wedge is really pretty. It would look good with jeans. Along with this Loeffler Randall flat with the bow. This is a shoe that I have in the heels in three different colors. Any shoe you get from Loeffler Randall, you will love. Their shoes have the best quality and really stand the test of time. Okay, and here are the Rag and Bone sneakers. You will love these. They're very streamlined. I'm not going to have you get anything that's not going to look good, not going to feel good, and not going to be easy to wear. These Rag and Bone sneakers are beautiful. I have them in black. Okay, these boots, I love these boots. I love the silver. These are on the cover of the Nordstrom catalog. I'm not sure I'm crazy about the heel. I prefer like the Schutz stiletto type heel, but I know not everyone likes that. So I wanted to offer, you know, or show these to you. The Parfum de Marley Delina gift sets for fragrance. That is a very unique fragrance. I think a lot of people have it as their signature scent. And I think that you, it's worth trying. I would not, I probably wouldn't suggest this for trying it. I would try the hair fragrance or one of the smaller ones. But if you know you love it, now is the time. And you can always gift, like get one and gift one. The Hourglass Double Ended Brush and Powder Set. This is so good. Not only is this powder really good, I don't use it as much because I am someone who uses powder to set under my eyes and I need to be able to put the puff in it. But if you are someone who just uses the loose powder to literally set your face, you will love this powder. And the brush is phenomenal. That is a wonderful brush. You can use the big fat end for your powder. The other end is perfect for contour and blush. And then use the big end for bronzer. Just a really, 
really quality brush. Okay, the Anastasia Brow Kit. So you get the Brow Wiz, the Brow Styler, the one that's angled like I use, and the Brow Gel. That's a nice little set. And then this one I love from Armani. It has the Armani, let's see, is that the Luminous Silk and the Blush in Euphoria? That blush is gorgeous. It's the perfect peachy pink. It's kind of like Milani Luminoso, NARS Orgasm, Lorac Exposed. What else? It is that just goodness, that peachy pink with a little bit of gold sparkle. This Sigma Beauty foundation set is a really, this, I'm going to get this. This is on my wish list. That is a great brush set. The Aki Hair Towels, the set of two. I get these every year. I love them. A great Christmas gift. These towels and a good light can of heat protectant or the bedroom hair from Kevin Murphy or something like that. What a great gift for a friend. It, that's just something really cool. Then the Trish McAvoy brush set. These look very unique. I have her ones with the clear handle. The only thing is they're the travel size and that's not my favorite to use at home. I love Trish McAvoy makeup. I really do. Speaking of that, her whole big set. I've bought this probably three years in a row. Every year they come out with a light, medium, and a deep. I'm not sure I'm going to buy the whole set. I want to wait and literally look and make sure I don't already have most everything in there. A great set to start out with makeup. These sunglasses from Isabel Morant, the Aviators, beautiful. Now we're getting into some jewelry. And I would say one of my favorite things I got last year, <laughs> along with the Vendi sunglasses, was the little stone necklace. Well, they have that again in like a blue color. Definitely getting that. Getting the 14 karat yellow gold uh, multi-strand necklace. The 14 karat yellow gold multi-strand necklace. Now that is an investment, but it is on sale. And then they have a lot of little, little, like one has the um, little beaded chain with a cross. That's from Argento Vivo and it's sterling, but it's wrapped, coated, dipped in gold. What do we say in layered in gold? Gold layered, <laughs> forgetting the name. And then we have another one from that brand that's got the gold, more of a traditional chain with the cross. Then another Monica Venator turquoise necklace. And then I love this double strand. I like the clear and silver CZ, like double tennis necklace. That is gorgeous to me. Here come some more sunglasses. The Isabel Morant, the ones that go straight across. You guys know I love those. I have some from Privé Riveau. And Celine makes a lot of these that I have tried to wear and I just can't because the nose piece is too wide. I'm going to try these. And these, oh my gosh, okay. This could be my most exciting find. These Max Mara glasses in the light shiny beige Big round Hollywood sunglasses with the nose piece. Loving those. My luggage is on sale. My base Atlanta at Atlas pink <sighs> luggage that I have used for the past, gosh, probably two years. That's on sale. This scarf from All Saints. I will say that's one of the first brands I look up during the sale. I have bought so many leather moto jackets, really good pieces from All Saints. And I love this scarf with the All Saints lettering on it. Jeans, the Pistola jeans. There's the Monroe that I've already shown you that are so good. Uh, my mom loves those too. The AG, the ex-boyfriend. These are the ones that I've shown you several times. They're so soft. They're like pajama pants. They're so comfortable. I will say with the AG ex-boyfriend, I don't like them really baggy, so I have to size down in these. The Rag and Bone Harlow are just a great, they're going to be a thicker weight, straight jean that is a good everyday jean. Rag and Bone jeans will last you the rest of your life. Very, very, very good quality. The Legence Leather Moto Jacket in this dark black blue. I may need that one for sure. This Pistola denim shirt with the stars on it. Seems like I get something like this every year. I love stars. And I think these great big 
like over shirts like this. The way I like to wear them is with something tight and fitted underneath, like a bodysuit or a cami. Maybe not really jeans. I wouldn't put this with jeans. I would put it with a pair of black leggings that I'm going to tell you about soon and boots like fry boots, your boot of choice. And I just think it creates a great look because this shirt is going to go over the front. It's going to go over your behind and in your front. Speaking of this long denim jacket is pretty cool. When I looked at it, I thought, I don't know how I would wear this, but just how she has it looks amazing. And I think it's kind of a statement piece. Like you could wear that with a black tank, black leggings, and black boots. And that jacket's going to give you such a statement as it is. The Treasure and Bond Moto. I have purchased this for myself and for my mom. And then I think I got another one when I lost weight. You have to size up in this. So it's 219. It's genuine leather. And it is your go-to basic cool girl Kate Moss wear with all of your outfits, your slip dresses, your slip skirts. It is like the one moto jacket that you can go to and it's going to fit everything. It's not too thick. It's just a great, great moto jacket. I think you would love it. My next favorites are the All Saints, but this one is so much less expensive. And it's, I can't say it's just as good because I do love the more structure of my All Saints, but this one is all you'll need, especially if you're just wanting to dip your toe in the leather jacket. I understand if you don't want genuine leather, but I will tell you, I get so hot in the faux leather jackets. There is a big difference, and the real leather ones really become like part of you. Mine have been rained on. They've been balled up, thrown in the back of the car. I mean, they go through everything, and it makes them even better. This Rails denim dress, I think, looks amazing. I am a sucker for denim dresses. I think it's beautiful. I love this black contrast stitching dress. I think this is a very conservative look with a little bit of edge because it's black and it has that contrast stitching. This Steve Madden strapless, it's very similar to the dress that I got from Abercrombie and Fitch that's strapless yet free flowing and has the pinstripe. It comes in two colors. Love it. So pretty. This little dress, oh, I'm probably going to have to get this for Brooke. Because she's more petite and she's young, all of the cute little mini dresses like Mad Men look so good on her. And that's what this is. It's got the cute little collar with the contrast stitching, the pockets, the contrast stitching on the corner. This dress is begging for a cute little pair of flats. Just beautiful. This another Steve Madden square neck denim dress. Another denim dress. Love this. A good slit in the front. Perfect. Okay, this bra, Notori Pure Lux. They have this every year. I wish that they would come out with like hot pink, black, and some colors that I like, but I almost went to Dillard's to buy this. I don't have a Nordstrom here because I want bras where the straps look pretty. Like say I'm wearing a tank top and I, I'm just not one that likes straps up here. Makes me feel like I'm being strangled. There's a monkey on my back. I mean, it just, I hate it. And so I don't like wearing those. Well, every once in a while, I'll have a tank top that just ever so slightly will show your bra strap. So I would like to have some that if the bra strap shows, the bra strap is pretty. I hate that I missed the Dior bras with the Dior bra strap. I missed those. I didn't want to invest in that. And now I wish I would have. Okay, something I get every year. I use these every night are the Barefoot Dreams socks. Now, last year was my first year of getting the shorter ones, and now that's what I like the most. I like the ankle length. I do still wear, I think last night I wore a pair of the tall ones, but I like the shorter ones the best. This Rails blouse. It's white with the leopards and stuff on it. I have seen this in person, in action. Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, wore this to the... LTK style conference last year with a pair of jeans. I believe her jeans were, they were kind of like a trouser jean from Chico's, I believe. One of her best outfits. She looked fabulous. And it's one of those rails blouses are kind of drapey. So they, 
even though they're a button-up shirt, they do still make you look feminine. They show off your tag. You know what I mean? It just has that drape, which I love. Along with this cast line chambray top, it looks kind of drapey. And I was thinking that might be one to use if you wanted to create that Canadian tuxedo, the all denim look like I've been showing you lately. The BP plaid oversize shirt. BP is one of those good brands to look at. Like even if you're in the store, you know how like the more midlife magic sizes will be over here and then your contemporary and then there's kind of like a juniors section that will have like Topshop, um, a lot of different brands like that. If you'll just breeze over there and look through the BP, I have gotten some good jeans. I've gotten some good jackets. Brooke, my daughter, who's 24, always loves that section. And these flannel shirts, I love these. I used to tease when I was little. We would always go to my grandparents, my mom's parents, on Sunday. We would eat dinner or eat lunch after church. All of us, all around this table. I remember I would have to crawl under the table to get out. And that's what everybody would put on was kind of like just an overshirt, a flannel shirt, because you would have your dress on from church, but you didn't want to get anything on it. So all the women would throw on a flannel shirt. And then my granddaddy would be wearing one just to keep warm. He was always cold. <laughs> I remember that. So I just like flannel shirts. This Vince sweater. Now I told myself when I was recommending these things, I was going to be very discerning and not recommend a lot of really expensive things that really aren't that special because sometimes that can happen. I get excited and I get some of these things. I will say I have gotten some great shoes. The ones I got that year that have the gold stone heels, they were really good. I can't remember the name, but anyway, this sweater, it's like a crochet sweater from Vince. It's $2.45. But it is a really good looking sweater. It comes in black and white. This Top Shop sweater vest thing I think is really cool for $39.99. This Varley Carmen ribbed zip up I think is really cool. I, d I didn't like the other color. I like this beigey color. I think it would look really good with black leggings and sneakers. Just a lot of things you can do with it. Of course, a Rails sweater with stars on it. I'm drawn to the stars. I like these colors. I like that it isn't overboard. And I just think it's a beautiful sweater. And anything you get with rails is going to be good quality. Like this next black sweater with the leopards, the colored leopards. I think I'm going to need that one. This Zella sport sleeveless dress. I just featured in my Friday video that will go up tonight, the Beyond Yoga dress. I really like those. I love that whole concept of something sporty, but still a dress. And I wholeheartedly recommend anything from Zella. Everything I have ever gotten from Zella has been good. Okay, watches. I love watches. I always have. Did you have a Mickey Mouse watch? I had all of the watches. And then I, I bought my kids all of the watches. I love them. This Michelle ceramic black watch. It's still pretty pricey. It has the black diamonds. I have this watch and I love it. So if you are looking for a nice solid black ceramic watch, the Michelle watches, all of them are so nice. I have two of them. One I bought pre-owned at one of our local jewelry stores. The Tissot Tea My Lady watch, you guys. So many of you compliment me on my watch. This is the Rolex I got in the Tiffany Blue. Looks like this one is a little bit more of a greenish blue, but it has the look of it. A great price, a great watch. I love this. I love this. If you're a watch person, I think you would really like that. The Verb Ghost Oil that I've just been telling you about, shampoo and conditioner, is on sale. I looked in the home section, and I only chose things that I would put in my room or my living room, and that is this Perry Home Chenille set. I love this. I might have to get this. It's a chenille set, but it's kind of like in a leopard design. The Barefoot Dreams Blanket. Okay, I know everybody's tired of Barefoot Dreams Blankets, but I have to say, when Brooke has one of her own, but when Will comes out on the sofa and watches TV, that's the first thing he gets. Whether I have it on the sofa or folded and put in the closet, 
That's his favorite blanket, and I believe he has one on his bed. This pom-pom at home white blanket is so perfect to fold and put across the end of your bed to give you that just luxe, lush look. I like something on my feet. Even when I stay in a hotel, I will put, this is funny, I will either put some of the towels or my jacket if I took one, my scarf, my cashmere scarf, or a pillow. I like weight on my feet. That's just a thing. I didn't realize how much I liked that, but if you guys remember my cat Dexter, the Siamese cross-eyed Manx, oh, I loved that cat so much. I mean, he was a work of art. And he, we used to take a nap after my kids went to school, and he would lay on my feet or near my feet, and I got used to it. And then I started putting something, oh, I started putting my robe there. And to this day, I wear that little jacket that I got from the Nordstrom sale. I think it's North Face. Every night, I put that on my feet, even over that blanket. And then when I get up in the morning, I put it on. So I'm, I have hangups like that. Okay, this pom-pom at home pillow is the same shape of my pillows here on my bed. One looks good in a chair, like my chairs upstairs, my pink ones, or two across the bed. I'm going to get this black All Saints tee for John. He looks extra sexy and desirable in a black t-shirt. I love it. This All Saints Dolby Moto Jacket. I have this. I have it in, I know I have it in the burgundy. I don't know if I have it in the black, but just a phenomenal jacket. The difference is it doesn't have a belt at the bottom, which I will say sometimes I like the look of the belt, but it gets on my nerves because sometimes you have to stress about the belt coming out. So that is a plus. My Ugg Cosettas are on sale. I like this beigey color. I'm going to get those. When I looked at the sports stuff, what I would wear would be the Zello Studio Luxe leggings in black. And then I would get the Zella Cloud Fleece sweatshirt in black. I would wear those with either the On Cloud sneakers that are on sale, my favorite ones that I walk in that you don't need socks and you don't need to bend over and you don't need to tie them. They are phenomenal sneakers. Now, in my opinion, I like them best for walking instead of style. I prefer the Nike or the New Balance or the Rag and Bone, but these are good sneakers. I mean, everybody wears them. These and the Hoka, the, the Hokas that are on sale are, they're loud, but they're going to be comfortable. And then last but not least, the Revitalash Cosmetics Lash and Brows. This stuff works. It does. I, my lashes are probably twice as long. I would not say that they're any thicker, but I think you only have as many lash follicles as you have, but it definitely makes it where I do not have to wear lashes. I just choose to. So there we go. Probably over 50 suggestions. I would say probably a third of them I have tried and I've loved. And there will be many more things when we are in Palm Beach. We're going to make the video from there. We're staying at a swanky hotel. Normally, I'm not a hotel snob. But for the video, I wanted it to be a really pretty hotel. We're getting two rooms because, you know, it's all of us. So I don't know how we'll probably just pick the best room to film in and try to keep it clean. You know, when the whole family goes, it just ends up being like tornado went through there. But, um, and then Brooke is going to, I usually buy her things that she wants because she helps me so much with taking pictures and, you know, doing things. Plus, I just love her being there. To me, it's fun shopping with your daughter. And so she is going to be in the video with me and show you the, what she gets. So it'll be a great time to just see what we chose at this store, this Nordstrom store. And then the next week, YouTube invited me to the flagship store in New York. So John and I are going there to shop at that store just for one day. We're just going to go. John, I don't know if John's ever been to New York and he's hesitant. So I thought, well, that will be a great time to just go stay all day and then come home that night. So that is what's coming up with the Nordstrom sale. I understand if you're over it and you want to skip these videos, I will make sure that I list it in the title so that you can see me in the next one. Uh, today, I have on just a new dress from, oh my goodness, Revolve. I'll back up and show you. 
This is my chair that I love from Amazon. And then this is from Lemons. Is it Life in Lemons? I can't remember. It's one of those brands from Revolve. And it does have like a built-in bra. And this is the back. And then I have on my Fendi slides. And then I have my sassy girl here with me today. Sassy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you saw something that you liked. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.